This podcast may contain Sorry. explicit language <laughs> and maybe some other sexual things. <laughs> Your discretion is advised. All right, it's the final gassy Halloween month episode, Kermit. Now is your time to shine. I know you're in here. We're in the old studio. If you can hear us, make a noise. Do something. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> oh, fuck. He is in the vent! I called it. I fucking knew you were in... What just happened to the lights? What the fuck? No. No, no, no. That, that's not me. That's exactly why I'm in these vents and I'm not coming out. I can't see anything. Kermit, Dude. what the hell are you doing? Kermit, Kermit, just come out and turn on the lights, man. Luigi, is this you? No, that that's that's not me. Where are you? Dude, I'm over here. I'm, I'm over here. Is this you? Smells like you. Luigi? Where are you? Is this not you? I can't see anything. Luigi, is this you? No, no, dude. This is not me. You need to run. What the fuck are you talking about? It is pitch black in here. I am parched. We're giving you your spotlight. It's Halloween. Jesus Christ, Kermit. Now, I'm going to ask you again. What is all of this hubbub about? Did you just piss yourself, dude? No. You guys shouldn't be worrying about Kermit. What? Who? That sounds familiar. For too long, you have neglected me. And now, I will massacre you and get my revenge. Um, still? Fuck this shit. Bye-bye. Still not, uh, I, I'm still not, who's there? Knock, knock. Um, who's there? This is getting very creepy, Luigi. And I can't see anything. I can't, this I is can terrifying. That, though. Yeah, I didn't Dude. just fart, I apologize. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Randy, Randy, what happened? What happened, dude? Where are you? Oh, I'm not sure if I should be more afraid of what just happened to you or that fart you just released. Uh, Randy? Hey, buddy. Uh, Do you remember me? Tommy? Um, Give me a big old kiss. <laughs> This is not the normal... Why don't you guys shut the fuck up for a second? Tommy the Puppet. You... You attacked us! You're gonna kill us, aren't you? Well, it all depends on what happens next. Why are you doing this to us? Well, let's see. Um... The past unboxings have been either pictures on the Facebook page, or... Just fucking unboxing without me even involved. And I need to be the beginning and end of every unboxing. And you guys haven't done an unboxing in a while. So there's two things we're going to do right now. Okay. First thing we're doing is you are both going to be eating those same hot peppers you ate on that live Flame On video. No. No. <laughs> Not again. God, no. Oh, no. You're doing it. You're going to eat those peppers. You're going to eat them. And then, I'll let you start off your show, and then we're doing an unboxing. And I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna be the host. Okay. 
Okay. okay. But wait, wait, you're just a puppet. Oh god, he has a gun. He has a gun. Oh god. Okay. Eat the fucking pepper. Eat the fucking pepper, Randy. I'll eat the pepper. I'll eat the pepper. No. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Uh. <laughs> eat the pepper, Luigi. So you make me watch him and now I gotta do this? Eat the pepper, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. I, I, I don't wanna. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. How's it taste? Oh Luigi? god. How's it taste, Luigi? Oh god, not again. Does it taste good, Luigi? No, it doesn't. <coughs> now you feel my pain. I'm getting stuck so bad. Now you feel my pain. Oh. <coughs> Pass me a controlling. Grab that beer. It's game time. This is the gaming section. <coughs> this is the gaming section. Um. And. I, I don't know, Luigi. What does he want? And. What do we have for gaming news? What do we have for gaming news? Wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, that's right. Uh, we we have we have a brand new unboxing for you live unboxing. Well, live on the episode for you guys right now. Right, right, Tommy. That's right. A brand new unboxing. Let's do it. Oh, finally! Welcome to a brand new gassy unboxing. I'm Tommy the Demonic Puppet. <laughs> We're opening some magic cards, aren't we? <laughs> Yes. That's right. How's that pepper tasting? I can't feel my face. How come I can't be? Shut the fuck up, fat ass. Okay. Here, here's one from um, uh, con conspiracy. It's, it's a little bit different than the no normal normal game, and. and I've never wanted to cry so much while opening cards. <laughs> See if we got anything good. We we got some good sorceries and human creatures and whatnot. Uh, destroy target creature with flying. That's actually not bad for the. Keep cards. going. Okay, okay. Destroy. Um. Garbage fire. Okay, I'll read it later. Hopefully we get something good in this pack. We got a Camaro and a symbol the rake, which is a, a conspiracy card. Okay. On, on to the next um, pack here. We got uh, Oath of Gatewatch. <clears throat> Both of Gatewatch? It, 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 it's Oath. Oath of Gatewatch. Are you trying to correct me? No, no, no. Do you want another no, pepper? Do you no, want another pepper no, in your mouth? No, I'm, I'm okay, sir. Okay. 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 So, on to our second pack. We got uh, an Eldrazi drone. An instant. Another instant. Another instant. Oh my god. A <laughs> creature. Another instant. Another Eldrazi drone. <laughs> These are some uh, pretty. Another instant is some pretty interesting. Ooh, we got a basic land card. Are you yeah. fucking with me right now? No, this this is a, this is just a regular basic land card. It's full art too. Um, um, another land card. An elemental creature. An Eldrazi drone. Ooh, and another full art land and uh, vampire. That should come in handy. Now it'll be opening. Now, now we're opening battle for uh, Zen Zendrikak. Zendikak. 
car, a car, car. Yeah, that. This pepper burns so bad. Shut up, you fucking asshole. I still can't feel my tongue. Okay, we got a creature. An instant. Another Eldrazi creature. A beast. Another creature. An enchantment. Haven't seen one of those in a little while. An Eldrazi. Another Eldrazi. A griffin. An elemental creature. A human. A land. And another creature. And a rare Eldrazi. Endless one. Is that a good one? Uh, and the center's the battle put X number of 1 1 counters on it. Is it a good one? Is it a rare? Yes. Good. It, it's, it's a rare card and it's good. And then we got a full basic mountain land. Now, what's the last one called? Uh, Dragons of Takir. How's that pepper feeling? It burns my face. Which is a good one! <gasps> you tell me! <laughs> so I will instant. be your fucking nightmares. <laughs> so we got an instant. <laughs> a creature. Another creature. Which car was that? No. Okay, never mind. Another creature. Another creature. We got a lot of creatures in here, which I'm very happy about. The more creatures, the better. An artifact creature golem. Sorcery. Kirin. Hound shaman. An artifact equipment. <laughs> Stop fucking crying back there, fatty. You better not cry either. I'm okay. How about you fucking dig off? And we ended with our rare card. And no, no full land this time. So thank you for a brand new Gassy unboxing on an actual episode, not just pictures. Fucking asshole. I'm sorry. Not just live videos. Fucking asshole. I'm so sorry. You better be fucking sorry, bitch. We are. Actually on an episode. Now we can go back to the Gassy podcast recording. Right? Yes, sir. As long as you give me a kiss. No. You're going to give me a kiss? No. Damn it! <laughs> oh, God, those peppers were so hot. And I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. And <sighs> Did you enjoy the unboxing, Luigi? Kind of. Did you enjoy the unboxing, Luigi? Um, yes. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. He should he, he should leave everyone alone now. Kermit? You are in the vents, you fucking little piece of shit. We called that. Uh, yeah, well, you have no idea how fucking crazy this puppet has been. You've been neglecting him and... I didn't want to die. You know it's fucked up when Kermit with the sea is afraid. Tommy, are you... Are you, okay, are you okay now? Well, yeah, you know, as long as, no matter if you go live on the Facebook page, even if you take pictures, or if you do it on an episode, as long as I'm on the, in the picture and the episode, I'll be fine. Happy Halloween from Time of the Puppet. Go ahead and continue your episode, everybody. Okay. So did we, we, we survive that? I, I, I guess. You know, I'm getting sick of this. This is the second time we've been taken hostage by puppets. Well, to be fair, I tried warning you guys, but every time I tried to say something, this fat fucking asshole... Shut up, Kermit. No, 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 no. I tried being good for once. And... Shut up, Kermit! Yeah, fuck you. Hey, Tommy. Yeah. Now that you're not crazy, uh, can I get some crack now? Of course. Of course. Okay. Um. Holy shit. They're gone. Um.
kick off the actual gaming news now. Uh, the Nintendo NX is now called the Nintendo Switch, and it looks fucking awesome. Right? I cannot wait. And now it makes total sense that that the rumors of the like the next Pokemon game after Sun and Moon's going to console, because that's the perfect console for it. Uh huh. It's like they took the concept of the Wii U plus a brand new system and mashed it together. You can like take the controllers like off and like make it portable and then put right. it on. Oh my god, it looks so fucking cool. Ugh. Destroy All Humans is returning to PS4 with an all upgraded HD and they're making a brand new game in the Destroy All Humans saga. Number three? Yeah. I am down. Oh my god, that pepper. Fuck me. But yes. That is happening. Uh, Ice. I'm okay, man. I'm okay. I was afraid of what that puppet was gonna do if we didn't fucking do an unboxing. Right? It's official. Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming. And it came because they gave us a trailer and it's fucking dope as hell. If you have not watched the Red Dead Redemption 2 two trailer fucking do it now I haven't seen it yet but I'm excited fucking A Persona 4 Arena director wants to make a part 5 which would be called Persona 5 Arena I have no idea what the Persona games are me neither (laughs) they're like a fighting game it's like a fighting game yeah Uh, the final Aloha forms have been revealed for Sun and Moon in Aloha Diglett and Doug Trio. Diglett has a little faux hawk and then Doug Trio has blonde surfer hair. And then uh the Geo Dude Golem Graveler Golem has their own like <clears throat> Aloha counterparts and that's it. They're done. They're done. Plus all the other ones they announced. So right. that's pretty cool. Um uh... The third legendary Sun and Moon Pokemon was to be revealed. Um, if So Galeo represents the Sun and Luna and Luna La represents the Moon, Mar Shadow likely represents an eclipse. Mm-hmm. And even better news because the demo is out and I played the demo and it's cool and that's how they revealed the Doug Trio mm-hmm. Aloha form. Just like Green Ninja, where you're able to get a Ash Green Ninja, there's people have found co- coding in the game where you'll be able to get Ash Pikachu in the actual game. So they're once again they're e- they're even going even further, combining the anime and the game. You get to catch Ash's Pikachu, which is kind of sad, right? Because you're like, what the fuck happened between them, <laughs> right? But it's also cool. I assume you'd have to be a high fucking level for that Pikachu to listen to you, though. For sure. It's Ash's Pikachu. Mm Mm-hmm. And that's all I have for gaming. Yeah, not a lot. I mean, uh, you just watched this past Monday. Gave away another prize, the Resident Evil stream. Uh, This is our final episode in Halloween month. And we are doing our final Resident Evil live streaming with prizes. This coming Monday, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, October 31st, on Halloween, we're going to be streaming Resident Evil. Not for the final time, but it's the final time we're giving away prizes, we think. Uh, and the prizes are, it's um, the Walking Dead graphic novel volume 2, the Resident Evil sticker, and a Walking Dead Rick Grimes pop figure. Congratulations to all the other past winners, and that's the end of the gaming section. Let's move on to the anime section, which is horribly horribly like there's nothing anime animated assholes possibly what makes it like during the summer and even the spring there's so much good anime news right and right now it's shit um and while you're looking some stuff up i do have some things sons of anarchy is getting another prequel not in the form of a show like the Mayans, but they're getting a prequel comic book form. Comic books require animation to make. It's called. It's gonna be called. Oh fuck! Look at that pepper. Oh yeah. my god. Um. What the fuck was I even saying? 
It's getting it's it's gonna be, the comic's gonna be called Redwood Original. So we're getting new Sons of Anarchy comics, and it's also a prequel, starring a young Jax Teller leading up to the very first episode of Sons of Anarchy. Hmm. So that's gonna be great. And I have a review of the newest South Park episode. Be honest with you, totally forgot. I mean, a brand new episode is on tonight. Mm. But I totally forgot what last week's episode was. <laughs> so. <laughs> I can't, I'm trying to think back. They uh, put down uh, Sweden. They fight Sweden? The trolls attack Sweden. Right, 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 right. Just watch the episode. <laughs> that pepper that pepper really <laughs> fucked my mind up. I know all the other trolls are getting Gerald. Yeah, all the trolls like recruit Gerald Bravos- Bravlowski and they're all mm-hmm. in. They're in the hotel, the same hotel Cartman always has his fundraisers in. And all the good stuff. And, um... Yeah. Sweden. The trolls attack, man. That's it. Oh, god damn it. You know what? This is the worst anime section I have... Th- I, this is horrible. Glad to have you back, Kermit. And, you know... People are expecting this Halloween Kermit's Revenge type thing. Oh, no. I will get my revenge. What? What? No, I'm just fucking with you. I'm high right now. <laughs> no, but I will get you guys one day. One day, I will get you guys. And I'll fuck both of you up. But for now, I'm gonna go blow this puppet and get some more crack. Do you have any more anime news, Luigi, before we just fucking move on? and? I have literally looked up and down all of the anime section. That I've got up on my screen, nothing. Bam! The newest Dragon Ball Super. I remember that. I just watched that last night. Oh my god. Okay, so Vegeta pretty much goes into the hyperbolic time chamber. He fucking... The whole top of Kami's lookout pretty much blows up. And there's just a big dent in it. And Vegeta walks out of it. And fucking Dende and Mr. Popo are like, holy shit. They go back to the past where Trunks is. Trunks is fighting Black Goku, and he gets stabbed, and he's dying. They never explain how he's healed later, or how Mai came back, but they're both okay. But Vegeta and Goku show up. Goku starts fighting Zamzum, and uh, Black Goku, like before, thinks he could beat on Vegeta. Vegeta has... he's officially stronger than Goku right now. Vegeta is blocking... Black Goku's sword with his wrist and just fucking him up. And essentially, and then we find out Trunks' transformation where he goes Super Saiyan 2, but then the the God Key guy key goes around him. Mm-hmm. Stronger than Super Saiyan 3. So Trunks has surpassed Super Saiyan 3, but has not actually reached God. Right. It's so, like, a character Toriyama said he can't go Super Saiyan 3, so he doesn't lie, but he pushed him above right, it. Right, he pushed it above it, so he fucked with us. Mm-hmm. You bastard. But yeah, I, I for, totally forgot about that. I had to add that in there before we switch over to the uh, superhero section. Let's do that now. Uh, yes, you're uh, listening to the uh, superhero section. <laughs> uh, I killed Miss Piggy and ate her bacon for breakfast. Welcome to the superhero section. Mark Hamill may play... Earth 3's version, live action, of the Joker on The Flash. Yes! Can you... uh, My favorite Joker, Mark Hamill, the voice of the Joker. I will cry. People are saying it's just gonna be... He's he's coming back for sure. He's dressed like the Joker. People are saying that's just how the trickster in Earth 3 looks and sounds. But I think they're gonna do the ultimate fan service and make Mark Hamill... An older Joker. And like Luigi just said, I will fucking cry. Cry. Just. Oh my god. The trailer for the final. I'm crying just thinking right, about right. it. Like, <laughs> just, that would be amazing. Uh, just him coming back for the killing joke was phenomenal. Can you imagine if he came back for this? Live action. Like, I mean, on Birds of Prey, there was an actor playing the Joker, but he voiced over the actor, so that was cool. Uh, but yeah. this th- that would be the ultimate cream of the crap. 
Let's see, the Logan trailer, the final Hugh Jackman outing as Wolverine. Oh my god, that trailer was awesome. Johnny Cash music was playing throughout it. I still haven't seen it. I gotta show you the reg- the regular US version, and then you watch the UK version, and it is exactly the same except for one scene, one little tiny, like, two-second clip, and that clip shows how R-rated this movie's gonna be, and it's just fucking phenomenal. I'm showing Luigi that right after we're done recording this episode. Which, by the way, we're recording on a Monday, and we're going to be live streaming Resident Evil at 8 p.m. But <laughs> that doesn't matter. Mind fuck, because this comes out on Wednesday, so the streams already happened. Oh shit! Now nah. you know Leonardo DiCaprio. Swear to God, he is making a Captain Planet movie. Yes, he's producing it, and we we don't know if he's starring as Captain Planet or what. But he's le- like legitimately a Captain Planet live action movie is happening. I d- uh, that is going to be amazing. Do you remember how Captain Planet came about, like, to be? That was back when we were all about be green, recycle. Don't smoke. Right. Dare. Right. Love As your I'm planet. Right. Right. Now, nobody can give a fuck. Everybody's And it high. makes sense, because Leonardo DiCaprio is a giant activist. I mean, he loves animals, he loves the planet, so that, he'll do a good job, too, man. Oh, yeah, man. Iceman is getting his first comic series, his own alone comic series, in 50 years. It's been 50 years since he's had it. By the way, go Cubs go, motherfucker. Go Cubs go. Yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. World Series bound, motherfucker. Anyway, sorry. Off topic. (laughs) Guardians of the Galaxy... Two teaser trailer dropped as well. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> I still haven't seen that one either. That one's funny. I'm so behind on like, watching all these damn trailers. Later on in the trailer, Groot like, pretty much calls mm. Star-Lord pathetic, and he's like, but do you need a hug? He's like, no, nah, I'm okay. And he gives him a hug anyway. Like, <laughs> it's so funny. Um, Pitch Perfect star Anna Kendrick, she is pulling to be Robin now. That's what I've heard. In Ben Affleck's Batman movie, she wants to be the Carrie Kelly Robin, and I wouldn't mind that either. No, she's a great actress. And I think that would be a studio's way of going, instead of a young boy in tights, we can just get a hot girl and put her in tights, and that should fix it, make her Robin. Right. Right. And then hopefully they introduce Dick Grayson, Nightwing. They can have, um, if they go that route with Carrie Kelly being Robin, they can have Tim Drake be Red Wing. And then um, they can have you know Jason Todd be right. Red Hood. I mean, they, that, that's I mean. So we're we're thinking this is going to be a Red Hood movie, right? I hope so. I mean, no Deathstroke's in it, so maybe Tim Drake will be the like because there won't be Tim Drake my or not Tim Drake um, Bruce Wayne. So we don't know what the, we don't know. Right. We don't know if this takes place before Batman vs Superman. When Batman wasn't killing people, we have no idea yet. All we know is the main villain's Deathstroke. So this could be uh, death in the family, right? Right. Something could happen. We don't. We have no idea. What else do we get that, motherfucker? <laughs> I don't want to spoil what happens in the UK version of the trailer because Luigi hasn't seen it yet. So I'm literally going to show him that. Other than that, what what trailer? The Logan trailer, the UK different. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not spoiling it. I have it on here, and I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, that's it. That's all for superhero news. Uh, fortunately, um, a puppet made a shit our pants, so we're a little lackluster. But it's always fun, always entertaining, and always a shout out to our sponsor, Formula 350 Collectibles. Yes. Let's move on to the final section, the entertainment section. You dirty bitch. Fuck two, wop seven. Entertainment engage. Entertainment section once a fucking gun, starting off with some sad news. <coughs> Major, famous, awesome comic artist Steve Dillon, dead at 56, died of a brain aneurysm. What the fucking hell, man? Always in threes, man. Yep, 2016, just taking everyone away. <sighs> but it's some awesome news. Star Wars Episode Seven has a deleted scene that's coming out on the 3D release of the Blu-ray 3D version. We finally learned the fate of Unkar Plutt, the big fat guy that was played by Simon Pegg. The guy who's like, that's my ship! One quarter portion. Turns out in the deleted scene, Unkar tracks them down to Maz Kaneda's cantina. 
Unkar goes to try to take the Millennium Falcon back. And remember that line in Star Wars Episode Four, Star Wars, where, you know, Han's like, hey, let the Wookiee win. They've known to rip arms right out of their sockets. Well, Unkar gets his arm ripped out of his socket <laughs> by Chewie and he dies. <laughs> That's great. So I'm really that looking forward great. to seeing that deleted scene as just a fan in general. And speaking of Star Wars, holy shit. Actor Donald Glover, a.k.a. Childish yes. Gambino, has been cast as young Lando Calrissian in the young Han Solo I movie. I can't wait. And it's perfect casting. Oh my god, it's that is be beautiful. so fucking sick. He can definitely play a young ca- uh, Lando. Oh hell yeah. New American Horror Story review. The twist has been revealed and I was correct. It switches to the behind the scenes... And what they're planning, it's been, it's been a year later, they're starting a new season of this show. This one guy is the showrunner, he was in last season, and um, he's, he actually has the people, the real people from the Roanoke Nightmare, and the people who fucking were the reenactment actors of them, go back to the house and meet up. And they're going back there and they're going to film... A, like they change the next season into a reality season, and then you find out the real Shelly, not the not the actress portraying her, had like actually slept with Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character, who was the fake reenactment version of the actual black guy who was her husband, and all this other crazy shit happens, and then you Holy find out shit. the gay man that Evan Peters played in character was just the character. They actually show a blooper, like when they're in the cave. He actually gets engaged and married to the actress who played the fake version, the reenactment version of Shelley. And then the episode ends with him getting stabbed to death by the girls. The M on the house finally reveal, revealed, gets revealed to say murder. And literally a title card pops up and says, everyone dies except for one person. And then the episode ends. So now it's the rest of the season is a guessing game to see who the final person is who survives. Holy like, fuck, Like, it goes, man. like, it says, like, the production tapes were found from all of the cameras throughout the house and the property. Everyone was murdered except for one. Like, that's a giant twist. That is, holy shit. So that, that's insane. Uh, Disney... Suing the Lightsaber Academy for trademark issues. The Lightsaber Academy was pretty much a Jedi church where they were teaching people how to fight with lightsaber combat. And this kind of pissed me off because Disney's doing great with Star Wars. And all of a sudden Disney's like, hey, fuck you, stop that, copyright. And now the school shut down. What the fuck? I was actually going to look in to see if there was a school around here that I can attend. Uh, That. What the fuck? You know, I got a collection of, like, character lightsabers downstairs, and I have two. Yeah. I had one built for me. Well, you built it yourself, and then Maddie built one. And like I said, we're both looking to get some made from uh, shoot first cosplay weapons, because they oh, actually yeah. make weapons where, shout out, guys, you can actually fucking hit someone as hard as you can with it, and they won't shatter. Yeah, they won't shatter. It'll, like, it'll sting, though, the so you gotta official, be careful. The official Star Wars lightsaber, the replicas, they can break super easily. But these won't. And you can have your own hilt built. You know what? Is- I, you know what's fucking stupid? The Jedi Academy was just acrobatic sword fighting. Right. And because they actually use the, the fighting lightsabers. And they called themselves Jedis. Disney's like, nope, right. not under my house. But before Disney bought it, George Lucas didn't give a shit. But now that George Lucas, Lucas... But here's the thing. It's a religion already. They can't do anything about it. Well, apparently they did because they're being sued. What the fuck? It wasn't even a cease and assist. It was just fucking a sued. Chicago has a Saved by the Bell themed diner with character actors who... Well, waiters who come in dressed as characters from the show to serve you your food. And that's kind of fucking cool. Wait, what? Just like the fucking uh, Tim Burton bar down downtown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, like, they, it's all themed like Tim Burton. They have uh, waiters who are also actors, waiters and waitresses, who dress like characters from Saved by the Bell, and the whole diner is themed like from Saved by the Bell, from the TV show Saved oh, by the Bell. Oh, that's great! That's, that is so, awesome. That's fucking cool. 
the newest trailer for Assassin's Creed was dope, and it makes up for that horrible first one with Kanye West in it, for sure. It is so Good fucking time. cool. That Good trailer, time. like, now I want to see, like, I wanted to see it regardless, but that Kanye West music in that trailer, like, pissed me off, and I lost oh, all yeah. interest. But when that new trailer dropped, my dick got hard, and I'm like, now oh, I'm yeah. full sale university again for this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, definitely. I was like, oh, thank God they didn't use Kanye again. This this is great. They probably took Kanye out of the movie, like Kanye's song out of the movie. So much backlash. There was yeah. so much backlash. No, but not a lot of people like Kanye, and that's and, it's, does, and ha- a lot of his music isn't even bad. It's just his fucking personality is so right. shitty. Like you turn off your fans that way, man. Right. Like if his song came out that that God song came out and he wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm Jesus Christ, I'm God. We probably wouldn't have had a, a problem with it. Right. But on another uh, a related topic, someone who doesn't have a bad song it is an, and it is an awesome rapper, Eminem released a eight minute rap against Donald Trump and it's fucking dope. He destroys him. Oh my god, we have to watch that. It's fucking that's the best. Oh my god. So we're, now we're I got to show you the that. Logan trailers and the Eminem rap. I heard about it, but I was like, I didn't know that it was uh, against Donald Trump. I just heard that it was a presidential thing. And uh, sp- sticking on the whole music topic, uh, Madonna physically on stage said, "If you vote for Hillary Clinton, she will suck your dick." Who said that? Madonna, this famous pop singer, Madonna, literally told everyone, everyone watching at home, everyone in, the- she will suck your fucking dick if you vote for Hillary Clinton. Can I get that in writing, please? <laughs> <laughs> It's all over the web and everything. But uh, I don't know if I would want her to because she's old and she's been around. I know. They're not going to happen. I was just joking. Like, no. (laughs) And finally, to finish off the entertainment section, Walking Walking Dead. Dead. I was right. Well, my prediction has been that Abe dies and then because Glenn gets all fucking pissed off, Glenn gets killed, and then Maggie miscarries. I was right on who dies. The miscarriage thing, I did say could or couldn't happen. I was right who dies, but unfortunately, because of Daryl being defiant and punching Negan, Negan couldn't make himself look like to be out to look like a liar, so he killed Glenn. That's right, folks. Through a series of Rick not... He couldn't comprehend what happened. The episode starts and Negan's right. He was fucking just with Rick and Rick was in shock. shock and he was just terrified. And Negan's telling him, "Think about what happened. Think about what happened." And then you see Abe gets hit, but then Abe, being the strong, tough, wisecracking son of a bitch he is, gets right back up and tells Negan to suck his nuts. And then Negan literally beats his brains into like soup. Oh yeah, and then. We keep going, we keep going, we keep going, and then finally, it cuts back. You know, then you know someone else is gonna die. You think it's gonna be Abe's love interest, and then Negan pushed the bucket way too far, and Daryl jumps up and knocks him right in the jaw. And then, uh, you know, he's like, "That can't happen." And then he's like, "I told you all, I was only gonna kill one." You know, he took one for the team. He took six, seven, eight of them for the team. To save all you, and now you did this, and I can't look like a liar. All of a sudden, bam! He cr- spoilers. He cracks Glenn right in the fucking head, and then Glenn pops back up. Not yet, because I just rewatched the thing. He goes back. cracks him again. He cracks him twice, right. and then he gets back up. He's... And then Glenn's whole left side of his skull is punched in. His le- his fucking left eyeball is like poking out. Hence. One of the funny things in the title of this week's at Gassy episode. <laughs> so, uh, I pop in Halloween special. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And then. Was the joke too much? No, no. <laughs> and then Glenn, going half brain dead, still somehow spurts out the words, Maggie, I will find you, like in the next life. They're star they're star-crossed lovers, man. Then Negan beats his brains into a bloody pulp and unlike Abe they show Glenn's body you barely see any part of his head left and you see his hand twitching 
and his body still you breathing. watch you watch as his brains get beaten in with Abe like you you see him get knocked like a couple mm-hmm. times then it cuts back to everybody's reaction as his brains are getting beat in and then it cuts back and you kind of you see him hit him like two maybe three more times and that's you it you see a little blood splatter but Glenn, right. Glenn's death was way more right. like to show his half of his skull only being left and his hand twitching and his body stopped breathing like that's what made me get right. Sick. Like, and, I was like, "Holy fuck!" And not only that, but you watched every single blow that guy took. I watched the whole ninety-minute Talking Dead after that, and they played it in memory. Like all the actors were there, and everyone was crying. And shit, it was horrible. Oh man! Oh god! And they're teasing. They're teasing Rick getting his hand cut off with that axe, and then, oh, yeah. and then Negan almost make Rid fucking cut off his son's arm, like. Negan is definitely the biggest bad guy we have seen on The Walking Dead so far. Uh, he's the worst evil villain I've ever seen in anything. But see, the thing is, Negan doesn't think he's evil. Negan, you know, it's Things retaliation. He... They did right. kill, unfortunately, Rick's crew killed his men first. And that was. And then they retaliated back, and Rick retaliated back again after numerous warnings, and this is what happened. And then if. If Daryl didn't fucking punch Negan, Glenn would still be alive. And I think that's going to really fuck with Daryl throughout the season. Because they throw... Yeah. Negan likes Daryl. And Negan throws Daryl in the back of a van. And says, I'm taking him with yeah. me. He's mine now. And then the saddest part of the episode is... Negan tells everybody, you better find me food and supplies. We meet back here in a week. And then the saddest thing is, all of Negan's men leave. And then everyone... From Rick's camp is just sitting there with two dead bodies, completely heartbroken, completely in shock. Saddest moment of the episode. They're gonna have to pick up the bodies and they're just left decimated. Right, and Maggie was ready to t- like go after Negan by right. herself, and, and then kill Maggie him. changed her mind and she wanted to be alone with Glenn and she wanted to be the only one to take Glenn to bury him. And every and Rick Rick's just turns like, around and goes, he, he was, was family. our family too, because Rick is. The first person that... Glenn was the first person Rick meets. Well, sort of. When he gets to the city, at least. He saves him. Right. After Morgan. I mean, because Morgan and his son save him Right, first. but Glenn's, Glenn's been there been from there day, day one. one. So it's, it's terrifying. That's Terribly bad. sad. And on that note, we hope you have enjoyed Gassy Halloween Month. We hope you've enjoyed our Halloween logo, our Halloween intro and outro. Our Resident Evil streaming with prizes all this month. We're doing one more this coming Monday on Halloween to end Gasty Halloween. We'll have a nice little live video that day as well, actually saying Happy Halloween and whatnot. But this is the final episode in Gassy because the next Gassy episode after this will be in November. And, um, you know, we're working on an actual new logo. We're going to keep the same old uh, intro and outro Darren had before we switch to the Halloween episode, but we're I have some stuff working on us for a new logo and everything, and hopefully it's done by then. If not, it'll you'll see the changes soon enough, but this has been Randy Lee Beasley. And Luigi Bernano. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Happy hauntings. And suck our dick. You have been listening to Gassy Radio. Ha, <laughs> ha,